Welcome back, Rams. I'm Trinity. And I'm Shalise. Starting off, here's Miss Ray in Ramley with Ray. Hi, I'm Tyon, and on this week's Ramley with Ray segment, we're talking about spring break. Hey Rams, it's B Ray with the Ramily with Ray, and this week I have been asked to talk about my spring break. I hope that you all had a restful, uh, relaxing, and rejuvenating spring break. Um, I worked a little bit over spring break, but mostly from home, which was nice. And the best part of my spring break was meeting with um, some friends and their daughter, who's a senior and having conversations about uh, what she's going to do next year. So this individual uh, got into 15 colleges. That's a lot of applications and a lot of application fees. Um, but she got into 15 different schools and had narrowed it down to four. And then we were able to narrow it down to two. And we asked ourselves, we asked her questions like, do you want to be in a big city or do you want to be in a college town? Do you envision yourself going to basketball and football games that are on TV and in huge arenas or is that not important to you? Um, are you okay with huge classes that are in an auditorium, at least until you determine your major? Um, because it came down to her deciding between UW, which is a really large state school. As you all know, it's like a city within a city of 45,000 people when you include undergrads and graduate students, or a smaller school like UPS, where there are about 3,000 students, including graduate programs. Um, two very different experiences. So it was fun to talk with them about those different decisions and what it looks like. So Rams, especially seniors, um, are you making those decisions now and what are you deciding? And for those of you who are not um, seniors, start thinking about those questions now, big city or college town. Um, and if you're not thinking about college, but maybe you're thinking about an apprenticeship program or some other option, what are the types of questions that you would ask yourself, right? Um, maybe how long of a program are you interested in? If you're interested in firefighting, there are nine month programs in the area that are available at um, places like Bates. Um, if you're interested in becoming um, an electrician, those apprenticeships are long to become a master electrician, up to five years, but you're paid during um, the internships. So those are the um, types of considerations, um, and I really enjoyed having that conversation with this family. Go Rams! Thank you, Ms. Ray. This year, I spent time with family and have lots of fun. Back to you, Trinity and Shalise. Thanks, Ms. Ray. Now let's hear some special announcements with Allie. Hey Rams, it's me, Allie, bringing you some new information from Miss Sprig. If this were a typical school year, the Career Center would be advertising a field trip to Clover Park Technical College this spring. But since this year is anything but typical, Clover Park has come up with a new plan. On Wednesday, April 28th, from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., you can explore the college's dozens of programs through a virtual event called Program Expo. Get the information you need from Ms. Sprick's Sway page. Ninth graders, it's not too early to start looking into your career options. Also, kudos to the 80 seniors who already completed their high school and beyond plan. For everybody else, remember that the due date is May 1st. I repeat, May 1st. First, the district's career counselors are offering help sessions every Tuesday and Friday until the end of April. Check the TPS College and Career Center presentations team for links or find them on Ms. Sprick's Sway page. Her Sway also has a PowerPoint presentation that walks you through their assignments. So here's Sani with some more information. Seniors, are you thinking of earning a technical certificate or degree after you graduate high school? How about earning an apprenticeship? If so, you need to look into the WSOS Career and Technical Scholarship. The application is open now and will close June 4th. Find the link in Mrs. Sprigg's Sway. She will also email you the link and more information, so be sure to check your TPS email. Thanks, Allie. I'm sure a lot of students needed to hear that. Now, let's get into the next season of sports with Jaden. Welcome back to Ram TV. This is Jaden. Before I'm back, with your news? So far for the boys' baseball season, varsity team is two and one, JV is undefeated, and C team is two and two. 
keep working hard for the rest of the season. For girls softball, they are 1-0 against Stadium. They beat Stadium 9-7. Keep going crazy. There is one more week left in track. Let's finish strong. Let's get this dub. This is Jaden signing off. Peace. Thanks, Jaden. Now here's Kayla with more sports news. Thank you, ladies. This past week, we had our tennis team play on Tuesday, and the soccer, baseball, fast pitch, and swimming teams all participated on Thursday. Here are some highlights of those games. Until next week, this is Kayla. Now back to you. Thanks, Kayla. Now, let's see how Washington's weather will look in our four-day weather forecast with Kat. It's Kat, and welcome back to Weekly Weather Forecast. This week, we are finally transitioning into warmer weather. We have Saturday and Sunday sunny with the temperatures of 78 to 45, 79 to 48, and Monday and Tuesday partly cloudy with the temperatures of 71 to 46 and 66 to 45. That is all for this week, and please remember to stay safe. Thanks, Kat. The sun has been out a lot more lately. Now let's see what to expect with the weather with Annalyn. Hey, this is Annalyn with your weather on the field for this week. Behind me is Mount Rainier, and on a uh, clear day like today, the view is really quite beautiful, but Mount Rainier is actually really deadly. It could erupt either really soon or 100 or so years from now, and if it did erupt, thankfully Wilson is not in the Lahar zone, but it is going to be prone to ash and a lot of other things like that, so you should still look at evacuation plans, and you should still evacuate, but if you were visiting a friend in, say, certain areas like the Port Tacoma or or Yellip, you would need to get to high ground immediately because that is in the Lahar zone. Uh, some physical signs that the volcano is going to erupt is that it's, the ground is going to shake a lot and there's going to be a really loud sound like a jet or a train. Um, and there are certain websites that check the activity of the volcano and I checked this week and we are safe. The activity is normal. So that's good. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and back to you. Thanks, Annalyn. Now, here's a yearbook commercial with Trinity. Yearbooks, yearbooks, yearbooks. Get them while they're hot. You can purchase yours today at yearbooksforever.com. Use the link in our description. There are 272 full-filled pages of events and happenings this past year. Once we are sold out, we are sold out. Next, here's a segment that's sure to put a smile on your face. It's Teacher's Pet with Kaylin. Hey Rams, it's Kaylin. Welcome back to Teacher's Pet, and today we are doing a five-month update on my dog, Carter. This is my dog, Carter, and he is a little over five months old now. He is around seven pounds and is a great jumper. Since last time you saw him, he runs up and down stairs and loves going on walks. He loves his new toys, too, and laying down in the sun. Sticks are his new favorite toy, 
and he will run after them when they are thrown, but does not quite understand that he needs to bring it back. He could play with other dogs all day, and does not mind if they are a little bigger than him. He is now starting to get gray hairs because he is getting his adult hair, and soon will lose his baby tooth too, and stop biting everything. He does not sleep with a puppy pad anymore, because he is potty trained and has not had an accident in weeks. Carter's first day of doggy daycare was last Monday, and he was a little nervous at first, but soon started playing with the other dogs. His face, paws, and ears are turning a tan color, and he is slowly losing the black hairs around his eyebrows. He knows his name now, and he can do tricks like laying down, shaking my hand, a high five, spinning around, and rolling over. He is a great dog, and I'm excited to see him grow and get older. Thanks, Kaylin. Now here's top five with Joe. What's going on, Rams? My name is Joseph. Welcome to Top 5 Arguables, where we count down the top five lists every week. Today's list, we have top five hats. Coming at number five, we have cowboy hats. Cowboy hats, nobody really wears them here in Tacoma, or like, at all anymore, besides out in the west and stuff like that, but they're still cool. They protect you from the sun. Coming at number four, we have those hats where you can like drink soda out of them. They'll probably find a picture and put it right here the soda drinking hats um those things are pretty cool don't mind the cat um yeah they're pretty cool coming in number three we have little spinny propeller hats um i've never seen one of those things in person to be honest um i think they're funny and you can't go wrong with them all right, coming in number two. No, it's kind of similar to number five, but it's those giant Texas cowboy hats. Like they're freaking like three feet wide, and they're they're huge. They're funny. Coming in number one, we got the typical baseball hat, baseball caps. Um, they're number one because everybody wears them, and they're just amazing. You can put whatever logo you want on them, and yeah. <laughs> but. That wraps up today's list. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let us know, like, some topics because we're kind of running out. If you can notice, we're kind of getting some weird top five lists. But, yeah, let us know. We will get them out to you. And have a good day, Rams. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, Joe. Now, for our last segment, here's Photo of the Week with Preston. That's an awesome abstract. It was well lit. He's a star example of vibrancy. Also, take note of the depth field. My name is Preston, and welcome back to Photo of the Week. This week's image is called Force Perspective. Gage calls this image Little People. Looking at this image, it appears that this young man wants nothing to do with loud music. It hurts my ears just looking at this image. Until next week, I am P. R-E-S-T-O-N. That's Preston. Thanks, Preston. That's all we have for you this week. Until next time, great to be a Ram. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe and ring the bell to get notifications for when we post a new video. See you next time, Rams.